part 13 of the Blender Character Modeling tutorial series for beginners in the style of anime. We're going to pick it up right where we left off. And today, at long last, we're going to build out the eye. Let me check the screencast. The key's on. I'm going to check this. M. Cool. Okay. And in object mode, we are going to shift A add some more geometry we're gonna add a circle okay this is going to be our eyeball it uh, they come by default with 32 vertices 32 individual vertexes vertices uh, we don't need that many we just need eight so we're gonna come over here hit eight hit enter now this is obviously broadside if you wanted to see it you hit seven on the numpad but uh, we'll go ahead one on the numpad and Rotate X90. There we go. Okay, so let's bring this up with the eye kind of center that. Scale it down with S. There's the eyeball. We kind of want that. Let's zoom in. this this bullseye and this is what we want we want this bullseye um, you might have to do something down here okay uh, a lot of times a span of two and an offset of one you know if yours looks like that off the bat you want to offset it so that you have this bullseye you know you might have you by default you might this this might say one and zero and you might have something crazy just come down here and work this uh, settings panel until you have the bullseye okay and again we got one two three four one two three four one two three four and one two three four so we got good geometry on the eyeball okay let's hit L to uh, select everything that is linked to these vertices let's hit numpad 7 and tap into sky view and uh, let's line up this eyeball okay so you can either grab the green arrow here or you can uh, just hit G to move it along the Y axis. And then we're gonna go into side view with numpad three. Yeah, that's actually not that bad right there. Let's bring this over like that. We want it, you want that, uh, you want this vertex to be on the pupil. Okay, and we're gonna shape this. We're gonna shape the curve of the iris and the well, really the whole ball and the individual iris uh, of the pupil around this particular vertex right here, okay? Um, and then we actually need to rotate that a little. You see how it's kind of slanted at an angle? We want that slant as well, okay? And that looks, that looks all right. Okay, and now I need to do the same thing uh, up top. So as it stands right here our eye would be sticking out the corner of uh, the side of our head right the the skull has this nice curve shape so we want to rotate that as well and kind of go you know stick with the contours of the head okay let's go back into side view with numpad three and you can see here's our eyeball okay 
before we really start to curve out this eyeball, we want to add a little bit more geometry. So add a loop cut with Control R like that. And that just adds a little bit more geometry. If you pull it up or bring it in, um, you know, right now it's not gonna matter that much, but you know, just escape out of it so everything is um, is equidistant and proportional. Now, when we pull this back, see that's kind of you know, you see where this is kind of going here. Okay, so let's Alt click to select the loop, and then when we pull this back. You can see that only this is pulled back, but what we want is we want all of this. We want the whole eyeball pulled back, so we need to turn proportional editing on. So we want this, uh, we need proportional editing on. We want smooth, we got proportional editing, and we, we want to pull this back and bring the rest of the geometry with it. And do you see how it makes that? Do you see, just like that, how it kind of makes the curve of the eye right there, okay? Okay, in side view, be a little sharp to be honest with you maybe bring this up a little bit like that okay not bad so let's tab over in the object mode and then if we're looking at this head-on what do we what do we need to do oh You guys should know this by now. It should be old hat by now. We need a mirror modifier. Come over to the modifier properties. Mirror modifier. Hey, that's not what we wanted. Let's add clipping. And then some gang of the head. There we go. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. And then let's add another. Let's add a subdivision surface modifier to smooth that out. And there we got an eyeball. We got an eyeball starting to happen, y'all starting to happen okay you know this this works but right now the the eye looks kind of scaly like a lizard uh, or a spider's web we obviously don't want that because that's terrifying so let's add a little bit more geometry like that and then let's come in right click and shade it smooth and there you go smooth as a well as a porcelain doll okay let's kick in a wireframe and see how we oh. So that this happens sometimes uh, when you add subdivision surface modifier the geometry it doesn't shrink but it, it kind of tightens a little bit so we need to scale this up a little bit like that okay maybe like that a bit like that there we go okay not bad let's save this I'll kick over the side view does that look? It looks. I need to come out a little bit more. Hold 
this up a little bit right here. Pull that up like that. Maybe out like that. Okay. And we'll touch this up with the back fill. do it. That might do it for the time being. We'll pull it back. Uh, how about this ear? How does this ear look? I think the ear looks fine, you guys. Let's just check this right quick. Um, let's all click. We pull this back. What happened when we pull this? Oh, let's turn that off. I don't mind that terribly. Okay. All right. I'm calling it. It's enough with the head. Okay. Here, let me just. enough with the head right now we will definitely come back to it um, but let's start to build let's start the body let us start to build the body and uh, in the next video that's exactly what we're going to do so get some sleep get up get a bend do a push-up cardio glass of water stay hydrated and uh, in the next video we will start to build the body